Russell Brand. I don't understand your fucking plan. You used to be so funny, man. You used to be big into drugs and scag, clubs and bands, pubs and cans, having sex with drunken fans, pictured in your underpants. How did you manage to go from fun to bland? It's just so sad. And now you're super into politics, but you just made yourself a punching bag. Why do celebrities always want to talk about stuff like that? Your job is to say funny crap and sometimes act which you're rubbish at, not to pretend you're on our side whilst waving from your super expensive London flat. Always saying you represent our lives up in the public stands on question time. Oh look, he's just a man, but that's jeopardised because on the other hand, your rent is like a fucking hundred grand. Being on the side of the poor was your choice. You don't have to do it, squire. And it fades when we keep catching you in flashy new attire. And you dodge the question of the rent on the flat that you've acquired, found out you paid five grand a month for it, and we branded you a liar. I don't know what I hate more when you're given your knowledge your political nonsense or your spiritual bollocks. Don't you even feel just a little dishonest? You've got this beautiful place in London, spent millions on it, but we should grab our backpacks up and go and live in the forest. You having flashbacks from the stuff you're sniffing in college? If you want an ounce of respect, then I think you should stop this. If you want to alienate your fan base, mission accomplished. I miss when you were always getting drunk and lost control. Forever fucked and on the dole. Used to be sex and drugs and rock and roll. Now it's zen and love and common goals. So boring now. Whoever this is, leave this person on the shelf. We want the carefree cool guy before you heard the doctor's help. So though it's probably the case that it's a curse upon your health, our favourite version of you is your least favourite version of yourself. Time!